slowed it down. How's that come? Well, we're just scrimmaging more. I think the biggest thing was putting them in situations because there's so many that come up in the game that they haven't seen. So we're doing more situational work, whether it's man or zone, and, and uh, scrimmaging. And we'll do it again today. Is getting how big of a component is getting it in the van when you're in a half court situation? Well, they they know it, and I you know we've made it clear that when he gets it, it puts pressure on the defense and helps us all. So it's um, the biggest thing these guys it, with 25 seconds in a shot clock. A good shot is different than when there's seven seconds on the shot clock. Three minutes left in a close game. What a good shot is is a little different than 15 minutes in the flow of the game. That's what they don't understand yet. And that's what we're trying to do when we're scrimmaging. But I'll come back and say this, you know, we're playing on the road at Mississippi, hard game, Ole Miss a good team. Um, where are we on the 29th of December on the road within our league? We'll find out, like where, and then not only you find out, then it's where do you have to go? Where do you have to take this? Um, you know, I think it was more discipline. I've been a little tougher in practice as far as holding them accountable, making it clear what we're looking for, and then holding them accountable. So that's what we've been doing. How, how have you guys been since coming back from the short trip? Good. One short. It was four days. They were good. They, uh, you know, we're. This is a great group of kids. It's just that we're really, really young, and. and for me, it's, I remember the end of years. I don't remember the grind of it. Like, I forgot how hard some of the stuff is that with what we're doing, playing all these young guys. But, you know, um, knowing they need to be more disciplined, knowing they, they have to, you know, shot selection, where to put the ball, uh, you know, what they're thinking about. And the only way you can do it is in practice scrimmaging. Like, in other words, I can stop a scrimmage and say no, and here's why. You can't stop a game. Only have so many timeouts, you gotta let them play through stuff. And so that's been an issue for us, but it is for every young team. Tony, how, how tough is it for a young team to make that transition from when you're so good in transition, but then mm -hmm. learning to, okay, the break's not there, we gotta settle down, play a half court game. We're pretty good in a half court. I mean, it's again, what happens in the half court at times is, okay, shot selection, where the ball needs to go, situational, why are we doing this, uh, when to put them into pick and rolls. And that's all stuff that, you know, I've got to teach and they've got to learn. And, uh, but I, uh, we shoot it well enough, we're, we penetrate well enough, we're, we got enough of a post game. There's no reason that we shouldn't be good in the half court. At, Historically, my teams could play really fast and beat you, or they could play in the half court and beat you. Um, you know, we just, there, there are situations that this group has never been in that you try to put in and practice so that they can see them and, and then talk them through it. Because when you think they know, they don't know. They're just, well, I had a shot. Yeah, but there's 25 seconds left on the clock and we could have got a better shot. Or we could abuse clock and made them try to foul, or you know, and it, it also goes to defense in the half court, um, the discipline, and, and and again, what we're demanding now. Um, but it's going to take time. I mean, it doesn't happen. Okay, one break, come back and have three or four <clears throat> practice days, or three or four practices. It's just it's, it's going to take time, and I hope we're ready for a road game in the league. Uh, and the environment that I would imagine is going to be off the chain like everywhere else we go, that these guys are ready for.